Hey everyone, Tyler with Bedford Camera and Video. If you plan on shooting the eclipse that's happening either on the 14th of this year or in April of next year, we have a product that you might want to take a look at and make sure that you're going to uh, capture that eclipse in a safe way. So first of all, not only do we have glasses for your own vision, not so much for your camera, but this next item is going to be more specific to cameras and telescopes. So what we have in front of us is what's called the Sun Catcher, and this is from our friends over at Explore Scientific. And what you'll get inside this kit is a few things. So first you're going to have your instructions as well as this diagram that I'll explain here in just a second. You have your adhesive pads, so there's adhesive on both sides, and you're going to have these four wedges along with this is the sun catcher so this is your filter this is actually the filter itself uh, it comes in the box just like this already assembled so what you need to do is you need to measure the outer diameter of what you're shooting with we have this 200 to 500 so if we wanted to use it with that the lens hood set it right here in the middle and this is actually pretty perfect for uh, that first measurement which is four inches you see these two octagons are going to be for two different sizes of the sun catcher so ours is going to be for this smaller size. Uh, so what we'll need to do is take these wedge pieces and once you have it figured out where you need to make your cuts, go ahead and cut how you need to, but I would recommend cutting a little bit shorter than you need to. That way it makes a, a more snug fit and if you need to cut more off, you can do that. You can always cut more off. Uh, you can't really add more on there. So we're going to make our marks here going to uh, make it a little bit of a shallower cut here. All right, now what we're gonna do is take our sun catcher, load these in without the adhesive and just double check our work. Now we're going to try it without the sun hood. So again, it's going to be a little too snug. So I was being a bit more conservative on that cut. So we're going to shave off a little bit more. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that snug fit. So I'm pretty happy with that. So what we're gonna do next is take the adhesive pads. There's adhesive on both sides. I'm gonna break those apart here. I'm going to put some adhesive on one side here. Make sure it's snug on the foam there. And take the other piece of adhesive off. There we go, and then we'll stick it to the inside of the sun catcher. All right, now that you've assembled your sun catcher, we're going to attach it to the lens. It doesn't really matter which uh, way you've rotated it as long as it fits on there snug. So I'm going to put it on here. Put it as close as you can, because uh, that's what you want. You don't want any wind, like kind of like we have right now, to blow that off and damage your sensor or damage your own vision. Put the filter on before you point it at the sun and you should be safe. If you not only want to view the eclipse from the point of view of your camera, but you also want to see it with your own eyes, again, you need some sort of filtration between the sun and your own vision. We want to make sure everybody is safe during this eclipse and the one next year. So just like Chelsea has, she has regular glasses that you can put on your face these are designed these are designed with protection in mind they're designed to protect your eyes these have been certified to uh, make sure that you're blocking out 99.9 .9 of those sun rays so uh, again be very careful make sure that you are getting these glasses from a reputable dealer like bedford camera these are the explore scientific brand just like we have on the uh, the filter here now don't forget there are two eclipses happening relatively close to each other so the first one is going to be an annular eclipse so that's going to have a ring around the moon so it's going to be kind of this imperfect circle around the moon and that's going to be on october 14th of this year and we're going to have a total eclipse on april 8th of 2024 and that's where you're going to get that really cool halation it's going to block out almost the entire sun but you're going to have that really cool flare on the outside 
And the last point I want to make is to those of you that are going to use binoculars. Again, just like the optics of this lens that's going to magnify the sun's rays, the binoculars do the same thing. So putting binoculars on and then using your glasses and then your eyes, not a great idea. It's going to focus on that film and it's actually going to burn a hole in that film. So do not recommend doing that. There are smaller filters made by Explore Scientific that will go over the top of uh, most binoculars. If you want to make any of these filters part of your kit, visit any of our physical locations or online at bedfords.com.